Okay, we were talking about the light that can come during the application of one of these sessions, which we're going to find out about because we're going to actually try a session. The reason this method is called tunneling is because it offers a blast of holy spiritual light between the problem, as you have set it up, and the solution. It can create a sudden collapsing of debris from the mind. And its effects can be that of a time collapse or the removal of a problem. So it can show up in the world as a clear sailing outcome keeping in mind that an inner shift can create an outer shift. However, this is not the goal of tunneling. Tunneling is a way of offering instant reprieve and release for your mind's miscreant thoughts. Peace of mind is the only goal worth achieving. So that's the description. Now, these are the steps that we're going to go through. And by the way, tunneling is exquisitely simple. Here are the four steps that we go through. The first one is to see the problem as you have set it up in your mind. So what we're going to do, we're just going to get very, very quiet, very, very still. And I'm just going to guide us through the process. First, we see the problem as you have set it up. That just means to hold the problem that you believe that you have in your mind. In your mind, just hold it there and look at it. Step number two is we're going to put a brilliant white light between you and the problem. This may start off as a visualization exercise, but it's going to very quickly turn into an actual experience of experiencing light in the mind. So put a brilliant white light between you and the problem. Step number three, this again is very experiential. Let the birds chirp and bring holy potentials and tidbits of a new way of thinking so that your problem is now announcing solutions instead of the reoccurring mind patterning of the problem.
And then step number four, when doing this method successfully, you'll feel almost instant reprieve. When I tried it myself, what I felt was an immediate sense of release in my mind. And I heard the Holy Spirit's voice say, just leave everything alone. You don't have to make any plans. You don't have to settle in anything yourself. You don't have to figure anything out. The problem is going to be solved. It's as simple as that. Just leave it to the Holy Spirit. That brought a real experience of joy into my mind because I knew that I didn't have to do anything. Just let all things be exactly as they are.